Welcome to Electron Line. In this video and the ones to come in this series, we're going to discuss the thick lens. The major difference between thin lenses and thick lenses is that with thin lenses, we consider them to be so thin that the location where the light refracts as it travels through the lens is a single location down the middle of the lens. That's of course not really the case because there's a front side of the lens and a back side of the lens, but since a thin lens is considered to be so thin, we simply ignore that and we simply assume the light to bend right at the middle, a line drawn from the top to the bottom of the lens. But in a real lens or a thick lens, we do not ignore the fact that the light bends on the front boundary as well as the back boundary. Now, the light emanates from the focal point here, the rays going in different directions hitting the lens, they will first refract on the first boundary and then they will refract again on the second boundary. So they'll travel in this direction, bend, bend again, and now you can see that they're going parallel to the optical axis as they emerge from the back side of the lens. If we were to ignore that for a moment, if we were to assume that the ray would continue in a straight line path, and notice the dashed line indicates that, and if we draw a dashed line from here, horizontally, where those two meet, there's a specific point right there. We could do that the same for the second ray, the same for the third ray, and where the points meet tend to be in a vertical line or a vertical plane. We call that place where those two lines meet if there was no bending on the first boundary and no bending on the second boundary and the bending will be right there where the two meet that is now considered the primary principal plane and the point on the optical axis through which the plane goes we call that the primary principal point on the front of the lens. We have a similar location on the back of the lens. If we draw parallel lines towards the lens notice again the, the rays will refract on the first boundary they will refract again on the second boundary and eventually come together at this point. This is considered the back focal point and over here they were originating from the first focal point or the front focal point. Now notice again if we draw the line straight through with a dashed line in this direction and from this direction we draw the line straight through again those lines will meet at the particular point and if we draw a line through there that line represents the secondary or back principal plane so we have the primary or front principal plane the secondary or the back principal plane and where those planes cross over the optical axis that's the front principal point and the back principal point that indicates very specific points that will help us determine how to draw and how to calculate the path of the rays through the lenses. So those are very important points on the lens. Now notice in a thin lens, they both the front and the back or the primary and the secondary principal planes really fall on the very same location, which is not the case with real lenses. And so you can see that there's going to be a distance between those two points, and we need to take that distance into account. That will make a difference when we start calculating the location of the object and the location of the images. So that's the first cut at understanding the differences between thick lenses and thin lenses, there's still several more that we'll go over until we actually start calculating ray diagrams through thick lenses. So that's a good start. Stay tuned and we'll show you some more key points about what's different between thin lenses and thick lenses in the videos to come.